What kind of grades did you make? I made good grades, A's and B's and so forth, except one time, when about 7th seventh, seventh or 8th grade, when I started excelling in boys, uh, I brought home my report card and I had a D in English. Now, Goldie Newman was the English teacher, and so my dad says to me, Wimp, you bring home another D like that and I'm going to whip your ass. Well, I knew he could because I'd seen him beat up on my little brother. So anyway, I go back to school and I go to my teacher, Goldie Newman. I said, now I realize that this is not the kind of grade that you expect from me. So I said, move me to the back of the, of the class, all the way in the back. If that noise is in front of me, I guarantee you that my grade will come up next time around. She said, well, that's, no, I want you in front. I said, no, move me behind, all of the noise. So she did, move me to the back grade. Guess what, my grade went up. Because then I didn't pay any attention to the crap that was going on in front of me. I listened to my teacher. And then I got a, a B plus the next grade. That doesn't make any sense. Move, if you had moved to the front, you wouldn't have been able to pay attention to all the stuff behind you. Oh, no, because when I was at the front, I had to listen to all that stuff that was pulling up behind me because they were talking about me. Ah. Uh, you know? Yeah. Well, when I moved to the front, they didn't have anybody to talk about. <laughs> that was when, I, I remember that's when uh, Granddaddy was the superintendent there when I was in seventh and eighth grade. Okay. And... That was when they had a movie that came to town, and the movie had a song in it that says, Where do you see Bessie in a bustle? Wow. Well, the school, the teacher that came with that uh, school, you know, a substitute teacher or something, her name was Bessie. Well, needless to say, we picked up on that Bessie in a bustle, and she didn't like it. And so one day, she went down the center hall between the two classes, and she slapped us like this with the back of her hands on both sides. And that's when I said, well, you bitch, you're not gonna get away with that. And I jumped up out of my system. And I said, I'm not gonna put up with this. And I called her all sorts of names. And she says, you're going to the principal's office. I'm superintendent. So I went into the principal's office, the superintendent who was Ross Langford. And he says, well, Philbin, I don't believe if I called anybody an old devil, it would be as bad as some of the things you said to her. <laughs> and I said, well, you didn't slap me in the face, and she did. And he said, that was wrong. She shouldn't have done that. But he says, you have to go in and apologize. <laughs> I guess I did. I don't remember apologizing to her. <laughs> I'm sure I didn't say it with very much meaning. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't have if somebody slapped me. I mean, that was really uncalled for. Yeah. I realized that we were a bunch of smart aleck kids, you know, and calling her Bessie in a bustle and all that. Not my fault that's what the movie showed on Saturday night. <laughs>